So today I'm going to show you how I paint my controllers. Now I know everybody out there has different uh, RC controllers, you know, they're all made different and everything like that, but this is a buddy of mine and I told him I'd paint it for him. So I'm going to show you how I'd go through my steps and what I do to paint it. Now as you can see this is the Traxxas TQI 2.4 GHz controller. And uh, first step that I do, I do fully disassemble the controller because it gives me a chance to clean it if there's any dirt in it. And I just find it easier for myself. It, you know, everybody does it different ways. This is just how I do mine. First off, you're going to have one, two, three, four, five, and then one hidden screw under your sticker right there where you put your batteries. And then once you get it all disassembled, if you want to take your wheel off, you can. If you don't want to, uh, you know, you can tape it. But there is a screw right there. And once you get it all taken off, there's some, uh, there's more screws on the inside. And this controller, you would think, is just two pieces, but it's actually three. The part that says tracks is coming down into there. That's a third piece. So let me get this disassembled, and then I will meet you outside, and I'll show you my steps and Okay, once you have your controller disassembled or taped off however you're going to do it, you want to lay it out wherever you're going to paint. Always make sure you're in a well-ventilated area. I'm outside today because it's a nice 50 degree day. You know, it's the middle of winter. That's pretty warm for winter. But once you have it all done like that, uh, you can start painting. Make sure you have anything taped off that you don't want painted. And normally, I start off with a primer. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is for a buddy of mine, and the primer he gave me is black. Normally, the primer I will use if I'm using a light colored paint or bright colors or you know anything like of that nature uh, I will use a white type of primer but he has black so you know that'll work it's still a primer and one thing before you start painting always clean your controller good or you know whatever you're painting at all uh, typically I use alcohol or whatever you know just to get all the oils of your hand off and you know any dirt or crud okay first I'm gonna start off with using light uh, just light strokes across it and let it air dry because it's kind of windy day so it will dry fast okay well this is with several coats on it later uh, as you're applying your primer it's going to come out you know a very wet glossy color obviously and as it's drying you're going to start getting this matte finish and as you can see you, as you can see you can still see the Traxxas and some of the TQI right there and that's perfectly fine because you know this is a primer it's going to take a few more coats to fully cover but as you start doing it you're going to start noticing a bigger difference and the primer is going to help the paint adhere to the plastic and it's going to make it a lot stronger now like I said before if you're using a light color paint it is best to use a light colored primer you know white the color that he has chosen this is a dupla color auto spray it is a light blue metallic I believe this probably came from advanced auto parts because that's where he works and you know as if you're using the white primer it's going to be that super super metallic -y color now, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to turn out with the black primer so you all will find out as I do so let me keep on priming and then I'll get back alright so now I have a few of the coats of the metallic blue on just very lightly that's just one coat I've put on there and in the camera it almost looks like a silver and in real life it almost looks like a silver so I'm hoping it turns out with a little bit of blue at least in it but if it's going to be silver I think it'll still be pretty awesome but yeah I thought I'd just give you all a short little update and just remember whenever you're painting don't spray a lot on it and make it run because running is the enemy you want to just light burst right across it let it dry it should only take a few seconds to dry then you can do more okay let me get a few more coats on here and I'll be right back okay so here it is a few coats later and if you look in certain spots, you can see a little hint of blue. It's finally starting to show through a little bit. And on some spots, it's still got that silvery color. But as you know, as it dries, you add more, you're going to get more of that bluish color out of it. But I just thought I'd give you all a short update. A few more coats to go, and I will let you all know. All right, everybody, here she is, finally finished. About, I think I put it around 10 coats on it. That may seem like a lot, but I wanted to make sure you know that the paint's really strong and adhered good and everything covered very well. Uh, it turned out, you know, pretty much flawless. It does have the blue 
tent in it, I was hoping it wouldn't turn out all silver. As you can see, it is very, very, very shiny. Turned out very nice. I really do like it a lot. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. If you do have this controller, I think it is very well worth painting. Uh, the reason he wanted his paint is because he has a good bit of these controllers. I do have one of these controllers myself, and I did paint it. Uh, and he just wanted one that, you know, was different from the rest and so he could tell you know what what controller goes to which truck basically uh one thing i don't know if i mentioned this i might have like spectrum based controllers and stuff like that they have places where you can put tape and cut around it and stuff like that you know where it's, it's either raised or lowered and where you know the traxxas controller is just not painted on but you know it's like uh I forget what they call it, but you know, it's basically almost just painted onto the controller. And unless you laid scotch tape over it and then traced it and then cut it out on this, you know, painter's tape, you could do it like that. But to me, it's just not worth it. You know, you can always write on your controller if you want. But yeah, I hope you all found this video very informative. I hope you like it. You know, subscribe if you're not already. I'll have a lot more videos like this in the future, one with a Spectrum base controller and everything like that. And I'll do some RC car bodies, faded paint jobs, everything like that. So I hope you all enjoy it. Hit that like button and thank you all so much. See you later.